We cannot waste time. There does not appear to be much here, but we have to be thorough. We should try near the Shrine of Athene. Anakato's prizes her above all else. I would wager he keeps his secrets with her. Farewell. Anakatos to justice. I won't cannot succeed. I, Anakatos, make this record in penance for my disappointment of the Supreme Goddess Athene, in hopes that I may return to her favor. What can I do? I could help my people find her strength once more. I have committed several acts that may have angered her. And now I purge myself of them so I might find her grace again. What is it? man who has always sought to serve, and we use the power of his position to force us on the true path without his knowledge. Slavery, oppression, pain, I use to mold them into what is deemed worthy. Hold a moment. These are bodies of Colossi. What are they doing here? Wait. I... I recognize some faces. Elfron. Armandia. These were great Colossi all. All viable competitors for the role of Primos. At one time or another. I... do not like the implications of this. What has Anakatos wrought? Farewell. Oh, my mom. 
Foster was brought nearly to his death. Our case failed Athene in our mission to bring her what can I do? to a devout state that would be worthy of her power and wisdom. At my behest, he sought the Hyperion force to the sky to earn our recognition. The ensuing eruption of Athene's wrath killed many and nearly took dear Arches. Trespassers, you are too late! The council already lies dying in the torture chambers, and the Jotun slaves will soon be butchered as the master ordered. Come, brothers and sisters, let us deal with these cars. Turn <coughs> your place, heathen. I found these during the fight. I do not know what they once bound, but they might be of use to you. Now, we must decipher what that cultist said. But there are also the slaves. They will be killed if we don't save them. But if the council is dying, we must choose who we see to first. The council must be important. Something that could help us find a flaw in his plan, perhaps, or learn more about the cipher in the Hyperion. I can only imagine what labors Anakatos had them perform. Could this have been the cause for Garunk's war? I do not know what the Council is, but I have had enough surprises today. I only hope that we can find it of use. I do not believe so. The Council is dying if Anakatos' dogs are to be believed, and the slaves are to be executed. I... I am unsure who we should be trying to help, but you are the beckoned of Athene. I must defer this choice to you. So decide. Do we go to the slave pens and help the slaves? Or do we go to the torture chambers to try to find Anakatos' council before it dies? I know. I know what this place is now. These travesties, these heresies. These are what Anakatos truly is. Be cautious in these lands. Ahead are the torture chambers, it seems. Anakatos's council lies on this path. Burn your place, heathen! <laughs> We must bring Anakata. This room looks like the Hyperion antechamber. Is this where he conducts his tour? Finally. Finally the day has come. The wait has been long and nearly unbearable. But at last, you are here. Before my strength has fled me. Ever since the day I brought ruin to my people, I thought this burden was my punishment. It seems I have not survived for my sake, but 
heart for yours. It is a joy to see you beckoned. I have much to tell you, and I do not have much time left. I am Arches. Once, once, I was the Primos of the Colossi, but no longer. It is what Anokatos calls me, for though his faith runs deep, his knowledge of the gods' will is malformed. You must have seen the travesties this false prophet has wrought in the name of my people. And now, the Hyperion is his. We must focus on the Hyperion. The gods brought you here because you can answer the riddle of my people's fate. You, and you alone. Yes, you and it both. For without you, the cipher cannot be of use. And without it, your power cannot be harnessed, for the riddle of my people's future is one the gods themselves cannot answer. Fate is obeyed by all. By all. Except for you. More than that, it was Anokatos who insisted we build the antechamber, that we try and force the Hyperion to rise. It, in desperate times, his thought made sense. But, but when I brought the wrath of the gods down, only he and I survived. He dragged me broken to his domain, and kept me on the edge of life, so he could learn the wisdom of the Primos. The power to change fate, that is the role of the beckoned, to serve the gods and unbind my people. Odano Kato's schemes. Though he will not receive the favor of Athene, he is not ready for the Hyperion. He will bring destruction. Oh, it is too soon. But I have left the answers long before. Find Sikandra. Ask her about our last day, and tell her I am sorry. Arches, I never, I had always, he had died. He had died years ago when the gods rebuked him and our people. It is, it was truth. Anakatos had him alive and tortured. I thought, I watched him die, years before. All that was left of him was a circlet. A circlet. There was much he should have answered for in his lifetime. But what we saw in Nixaros, he didn't deserve it. He didn't. I... I am sorry we could do nothing to help the slaves, but their suffering is over now. There is small comfort in that. Our last day... The day... Could it mean... The last day that I saw him? The last day we spoke? Before the Hyperion tragedy? 
he asked me to escort him through the wilds, to the shrines outside the city, the shrines of earth and air. He... he told me to... remember them when times seemed bleak. I thought nothing of it, but... could... could he have known about this? About now? Because I am his daughter, it was known to many, and it used to be a bond of pride. And he taught me the wisdom of a primos. But then, Arches brought down the wrath of the gods. I thought that was how faith was always rewarded. I... I once thought that faith was what would ruin my people. The thing that would distract them from their happiness. But I see now, it is apathy. To not care for our people, that is Anakatos' sin. As I thought, it was our cases before him. But this is so much larger. Larger than I ever thought. And our case, he always knew that I would be here. He must have always known. It is an ancient place high in the teeth of Naros. I do not understand its significance. But we need answers, not more riddles. Let us unravel this as quickly as we can. The fate of my people is at stake. My father died in service to his gods, for whatever love they might have shown him. But for all the anger I've held towards him, I'm glad I was there. I don't know why Arches spoke of this. Apparently, it's necessary for unsealing the Hyperion, but how? I was expecting answers from Nixaros, and we're only getting more questions. Something is wrong. Anakatos wishes to destroy Idilla, but how close is he to his goal? The task is clear. We need to- ah! My head! Can you feel it? Something... Something is wrong! This magic... This magic... Anakatos has done something. We must return to the city. We might... We might be too late. Something... Something grave has happened. I can feel it in my body. I fear... Anakatos may have accomplished his goal. Farewell. I struggle to keep sweet Arches alive so that I may find in him the knowledge and power of the Primos and in doing so can find the answer I needed to bring myself, my people, to perfection, to regain the goodwill of the great goddess. Thank Athene that my followers continue my work while I tend to my master. Oh, my God. 
The city seems intact, but still, the hinge has already become disrupted. Anakatos has sealed us from the city. It is only a matter of time before he finds a way to destroy Idilla. We must find what Arke spoke of, and quickly. Arke requested specifically that we go to the shrines of Earth and Air on the last day we spent together. There are two sites in the wilderness touched by the gods, one in the peaks of the teeth and the other in its canyon. These were called the Shrines of Earth and Air. I thought nothing of them, but Arkes knew. He must have known this day would come, when we needed them. Yes, the last day came long after we had stopped speaking. The burdens of his reign had all but consumed him. He made a pilgrimage to the shrine of earth and air, and I was his guard. He asked for me personally. He said I would need these places when the hour was darkest. I thought it was a half-felt apology, but I never forgot it, and neither did he. Yes. The Hyperion was larger, more impressive, but these areas bore the same mysterious substance that the Hyperion was crafted from. We have never seen its like before. It must be some divine element. The gods use it, then, as a marker for us. I cannot say for sure, but there is more than coincidence here. That Arke showed these places to me, that he mentioned them as he died. But we have little else to act on, and with every moment the chance of Anakatos's calamity occurring grows greater. It lays in the crags of the Teeth of Naros, in the shadows of the Great Rocks. There is a stone there that resembles the Hyperion in its own way. We don't know why the spot was marked the way it was. Perhaps we will finally find out. The Shrine of Air is a holy site we found nestled in the highest peaks of the Teeth of Naros. We found a stone there, the same material as that of the Hyperion itself. But we never knew why the gods left such a marker. It rests in the Teeth of Naros, but south of the Hyperion and the city. It is nestled between the great crags of rock that make these mountains. Be cautious in these lands. These. I doubt that anyone has walked these halls since they were first shaped. I wonder if the words Arke spoke were true. It must be somewhere among the ancient stones. I can feel a powerful magic in this place. Can't you? It is heavy, like some huge burden. I do not know for sure. When Arkes came here with me years before, he said this of the Earth Shrine. The Earth is dark and heavy, and dangers hide unseen. Accept the light in darkness, for it knows the way. A light in this gloom is welcome, but I would not wander too far off the path. 
Farewell. What is it? Our final task waits. Something feels strange, Beckoned. 
When you harnessed the Earth Shrine, my limbs never held more strength. You look more whole, and I can feel the magic pouring through this land already. We must be close. The Hyperion waits. I can only imagine that is what Arkays meant. But though I can say that much, I still do not know what we're dealing with. Come, if we need the Air Shrine to unlock the Hyperion, then we must go. Remarkable. It looked like the Hyperion in its own way. The gods, when they made the Hyperion, they must have left this as well. But it felt entirely different. Like if I touched it, I would suddenly collapse under my own weight. It waits in the higher peaks of the Teeth of Naros. But I have a feeling that Anakatos knew that we would find them. I don't know how easy this will become, but we have to keep going. Very well. Time is, is at, at hand. hand. Let us finish this. I listen. What can I do? So it was the same as the Shrine of Earth, a marker for a hidden cave. What could it mean? Did the gods plan this so thoroughly? 
Be cautious in these lands. Let us... The path opens once more. To think that all this time we had the answer to the Hyperion below our feet. That our road to Anakatos forced us to solve this riddle. Seems more than coincidence. I cannot say for sure it is different from the Earth Shrine. This place is thin and cold. But... I remember the words R.K. said. To harness the air, you must walk on the wind. Somehow this shrine will make that true. Keep it close to you. That artifact is proof to many that you are the Avatar of the Gods. It holds much power. Be cautious in these lands. Then I must. I won't hold. Then I must.
must, then I must. The cipher is whole again. As are you. We can unseal the Hyperion that we might stop Anakatos. And we've done so much more. I thought this all was to bring Anakatos to his judgment. But I was wrong. There is much more at stake here. It... It was so much like the Earth Shrine, but different. When I got near, I felt so light as to be blown away. A hidden cavern. Then the shrine itself was not important at all. Not the stone, but what rested beneath it. Communing with the Hyperion beneath the city. We have to stop him while we still can. How long have we left Anakatos to his task? And Idilla still rests. What is he doing? Very well. Make peace with your gods. Thank you. 